Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, on life on Minecraft. Today, we're going to look at one of our favourite domestic animals, the cat. Now, you would have thought, well, it's just a cat. It purrs, you stroke it, and it eats fish. There is so much more to cats, and they've got some seriously good uses. So I'm just going to turn myself around, because I know there is a village somewhere along here because i could see some villagers and villages are where cats generally start to be in minecraft 1.2.1 hello mr villager how are you doing in minecraft 1.2.1 cats joined the game but the only way you could get them then was if you tamed them from an ocelot ocelots being a jungle it's a nightmare you first you got to find a jungle then you got to find an ocelot in the jungle needle in haystack then you got to remember to have taken a fish then you've got to make sure the ocelot don't run away from you. Cats were quite hard. But in 114, cats now naturally spawn in these villages, in every village, in fact. And they spawn one cat for every four valid beds that are in the village, as long as there is a villager for it to belong to, because stray cats kind of link themselves to villagers. Up to 10 stray cats can form in any one village if there are enough villages and enough beds which is actually quite mental what on earth are they doing in there cats have as many as 11 different skin types that's a pretty one there with its yellow eyes there was another white one lurking around somewhere and all there's a gray one there too 11 different skins now that includes the black cat which also spawns in a witch hut and spawns 50 percent of the time if the spawning occurs when it is midnight. So one in every two cats at midnight spawn as being a black cat. There is also a tuxedo cat, and that tuxedo cat was based upon Jeb's cat called Newton, which is lovely. And there's one cat called Jelly, which is like a gray cat. And that cat is Good Times with Scar's cat. It was voted on in Twitter to be included in the game. So lots of different types of cats that you can get. Bedrock has also got a hidden tabby cat. It's in the code, but it doesn't appear in the game. I wonder if it will in the next update. Like those other entities that spawn inside a village, the iron golems, cats do not take fall damage. They won't naturally jump down something that would give an entity fall damage. They, they bottle it. But in reality, just like in real life, they can turn themselves around, land on their feet and fall from a great height. And I'll demonstrate this by removing this block from this poor little ginger kitty. Down it goes. No damage whatsoever. In fact, it's quite happy that it can now wander around and it's found a little mate. Really interesting feature of the cats. Just like dogs and wolves, cats will float. They'll float indefinitely. This one's brilliant. It's got two different colored eyes. However, if they're a kitten, they will eventually get tired and they'll drown those poor little kittens. But big cats, they'll float away forever if you want them to. However, unlike wolves, if they are not tamed, cats can despawn if you've not tagged them. So if you go to a village and there's a load of cats in there and then you go back to the village and the cats have disappeared, don't be surprised they probably despawned. What's also really quite spooky is that cats, when you've got invisibility, can still see you. They are very aware of you. They may not be interested in you, but they can see you. So that means when you've got your tamed cat, it's gonna be able to see you and teleport to you, which we'll talk about in a minute, even if you are invisible. I demonstrated how cats attacked baby turtles in my last Life on Minecraft video about turtles. But did you know, they also are not massively fond of rabbits. If I pop these in here, they attack them immediately. And those rabbits really don't stand much of a chance. When you are in survival, cats do not like coming within about eight blocks of you. They are genuinely very, very scared if they're not tame. So I can hear a cat lurking around here somewhere. Where are you, pussy? If you've got a little bit of fish, you may just be able to tempt them in. You can see the white cat's there. I'm holding this in my hand, but I've got to approach him really carefully. They might be interested. Yeah, he's got interested now. He wants my fish. And now, and only now, can I get close enough to him to tame him. But you've got to be careful. It'll run away dead easy. Cats are tamed using raw salmon or raw cod and all you need to do is just right click on the cat whilst you're holding the raw cod 
and it loves you you can see it's got itself a little red collar now it's sat down like a good little cat and that is now your cat that cat will follow you around wherever you go as long as it can physically see you through blocks it needs to have a line of sight so if you're surrounded by non-transparent blocks and it can't see you then it can't get to you it will teleport to you if you go more than 12 blocks away if i just pick up that cat look it now loves me it wants more food do you want more food no you just want to sit down if i take this out of my hand it still likes me very very much but it will also now explore but if i come a distance away from it like here for example I'm trying to get away it's chasing me it's chasing me it's chasing me it's chasing me it 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 really loves me and now it's got away again it's changed its mind because it much rather sleep on a chest or a bed cats love beds chests and furnaces chests are their absolute favorite they automatically jump on a chest over anything else so if you want them to sit on your bed don't have a chest nearby if you want them to sit on your furnace don't have a chest or a bed nearby these guys love a good chest you can't open the chest when they're sat on it unfortunately they have to be stood up to stand them up good luck you need to push him off the chest. Eventually, when you push him off, like that, you can then open your chest up again. But only until one sits on it again. Now, while cats do spawn in the villages, they don't necessarily stay there. I've got my tamed cat that's followed me out, but there's a stray cat all the way out here. We're miles from the village, you can just about see it through the trees. These things like to explore. When you have got two completely tamed cats and you can tell they're tamed because they've got a collar on you can make them breed you can get them to enter love mode bring them to you don't need to have fish in your hand but you do if you're going to breed it that is one that is in love mode that is two that is in love mode if you then sit them up they will come together and make themselves just a little bit of kittenage look and that kitten you can see has also got a collar on and as a result of it having collar on, that belongs to me. It is a tamed kitten. And you can accelerate the growth of the kitten by giving it fish. And every time you click on fish, it reduces the time that it takes for that kitten to grow up by 10%. They're really quite cute, aren't they? You can dye a cat's collar by right clicking on it with a dye in your hand. So if I click on this cat, you can see it has now got a light blue color. So you can actually give yourself 16 different colored cats, 16 different colored collars. That means that you can identify them from a distance, even if they're the same breed. If you are on a multiplayer server or you're playing with friends in a realm and you've each got a cat, you can breed your cats together. However, only one of you will own the new kitten. And if you wanna work out how to make sure that you're the one, Make sure that you're the person that's got the cat that's standing up. Cats can breed if one is sitting down. If one is sitting down and one is standing up, the one that's standing up will be the owner. You can stop a cat from wandering off if you want to by popping a lead on it and pulling it in the direction that you want it to go. And if you never ever want it to follow you again, attach that lead to a fence post. That fella's not going anywhere anymore. It's a little bit cruel, but it stops them chasing you around if you go into a bad place. Cats, when it's night time and you sleep in your bed, have got a 70% chance of bringing you a gift. These gifts can range into a number of different things. You've got rabbit's feet, rabbit's hide, string, rotten flesh, raw chicken, feathers, and even, in low occasions, phantom membranes. However, it doesn't help when some villager nicks your bed first. Now, cats scare away creepers they also scare away phantoms so we're going to do a couple of experiments behind this unnecessarily complicated mechanism there are a number of killer creepers who have got my scent they want to eat my face and i'm going to rely solely on the protection of my feline friends to see if they work when i pull this lever i'm going to stand close enough to tempt in the creepers i'm then going to retreat behind these cats and the creepers are going to run away like the pussies that they are so when i throw the lever the sand drops the creepers come for me and i run away like a girl right are you ready this is going to be fun it's unnecessarily complicated but let's give it a go boom creepers creepers coming for me yes they want to kill me 
Oh, but no, the cats, they are scaring them away. The cats are perfect protection from these horrible green nasties. We are gonna run exactly the same experiment, except I'm just gonna lob down a load of phantom eggs that basically gonna spawn the phantoms in, in and around me, and we wanna see these phantoms leg it. Are you ready? Because if they don't leg it, they're gonna eat me. They could not be less interested in me. Look at them. They're turning around and thinking, shall I dive bomb him? Shall I have a go at him? Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to turn around because there's pussycats down there. These are brilliant. You can use these cats to protect your AFK fishing farm. And you don't even have to have a roof on it now because they'll scare away the phantoms. Perfect. So the moral of this story, don't underestimate your friendly neighborhood pussycat. They are incredibly useful. If you kill them, they'll drop some string but I'd recommend you go and get spiders for that because cats are way more useful than a couple of little bits of string. They will protect your base from creepers and phantoms. So all of a sudden, not sleeping becomes far less of a problem. You do, of course, have to get used to that awful noise. They are really loud. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.